Okay, this is the second flight of the Hyperlite motors. We're doing uh, on a 1550 batteries. Uh, we're doing a little exploratory. We're going to go up high. We're going to kind of see the land. I went to Pacific Point, but I'm going to see how it compares to the Google Maps. But uh, so far, so good. Little red, little red lines on the controller side, but the fit, I'm running, uh, I'm running 50 megabits per second uh, HD. Uh, I see no drip drops in bit rate whatsoever. So uh, that's the first time I've tested it on almost a mile, and we're going to see if we can go a little further. But right now, this is just a little exploratory. Um, uh, view for we'll see above and then we'll put on the longer range batteries and uh, we'll uh, get some more cinematic footage
All right, that was nearly four minutes again. Voltage was uh, in the high 21s, basically 22. Uh, and uh, almost a mile out. So the 1550 batteries will give me like four minutes on this Hyperlite motor build. Uh, it's amazing how much time passes when you're in awe of the uh, view that you see. So uh, I've done the uh, exploratory shots. So uh, now we're going to put the longer range batteries on here. See how it works. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is I, George Prince, out here uh, near this plantation here. The area and the exact name will be in the description. Sees me trying to remember it. Uh, and I'll have a little screenshot soon here or there as to exactly where I'm uh, getting my distance from. Excuse the vehicles in the background. We are next to a street, a busy street at that. So here is my quad that I flew out for the first time at a mile and a half uh, with the 1850 batteries. Uh, took about three or four minutes, but I can, uh, I can go faster. I can go faster. Um, but again, doing some turnarounds just to make sure I'm good on signal and everything. Now I know the DJI can easily go out uh, more than four miles. And I've seen people gone out to uh, a lot further than that. Um, however, uh, they are uh, a lot higher where signal is not at all to be impeded. Here in Virginia, it's hard to find places that have no trees or obstacles between me and the quad. So I know that the capabilities of this is a lot more. I'm very pleased with the update of the 50 megabits per second. Uh, the video was as state as solid 50 megabits per second but on HD not low latency but HD so uh, I'm very pleased with the update um, and uh, I have GoPro footage I am going to or have already shared on YouTube as well so here's the GoPro Hero 8 stabilization on and um, So, um, but like I say, for me, it's my first time a mile and a half out. So uh, I'm pretty stoked about that because, uh, like I say, I know people have done it quite easily. But unless one has done it themselves, uh, that's where uh, the true accomplishment comes and a true uh, testing of your gear will. Um, has uh, proved out quite good. I use these long antennas right here so that it sticks above it even while it is turned around. And this this is the battery that I used is 1800 milliamp battery and I'll have the weight of the all combined weight all in weight at the video description as well. Uh, but like I say this is my favorite quad and I probably need some slight bit of tuning as I can see some wobbles uh, in mid throttle however uh, that's all a work in progress it didn't interfere with its flight whatsoever uh, but it is um, like I say my, my favorite 7 inch quad and then you'll see uh, other videos of other quads as well that I've been working on um, so I'm quite pleased with my mile and a half out May not, like I say, seem much to uh, the long-range fellows out there who do this on a regular basis. Uh, but once again, until I've done it, I can feel that uh, I have actually accomplished that myself. So uh, I'm going to do another fit, another battery, and um, and go out and back and see if we can get some real uh, low-down foot uh, footage when we come in. Other than that, fly safe.